Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is the start of the Krangled Passives event that we had to make a private league for. It's only six people per league creation. I'm going to join this here. We cannot pick a Scion. That's because all of the skills on the passive tree have been shuffled. So all of the small nodes will be small nodes. All of the notables will be notables. Keystones will be keystones, but it's all shuffled. Okay, so I still get my burning arrow as a ranger. So everything here is kind of is obscured. We can't see what it is. So my main goal today is going to be just scouting. I have access to link skills, have skill effect duration, and 10% projectile damage. That's crazy. So I guess my main goal is to try and scout keystones and then push through lab and see what ascendancies I have access to because the ascendancies are all jumbled among each other as well. So who has the tailwind? Who has the permanent phasing? Who has the fortify? Who has profane bloom? So we're going to have to figure out what it is and we won't probably have a real build for this for a day or two but my plan is to level all six of the characters at least through lab and see what the ascendancies are basically so all of that should be in this video with as much of the passive tree i can unveil in the process okay luckily this is not ruthless so there's actually gear passive point i definitely take the projectile damage that opens me up to 18 fire res or accuracy rating with two hand melee weapons okay I think I go through the fire res. This is going to be crazy. I think I'm going to take Galvanic Arrow. Hey, movement speed boots. Good. I got two passives. I think I take the fire res. That gives me access to life mana recovery on killing cursed enemy. Attack and cast speed fizz damage into elemental damage. Okay, that one, that top route's something. Yeah, yeah, get a dash. I'm not going to have access to attributes. So this might be harder to level into different types of gems early on here. Take the elemental damage. Next is wand attack steal increased damage with hits and ailments. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll take the wand damage. What do we have here? Essence Sap. Attack damage leeches mana, which is cool. Okay, it's a good mana leech right off the start for any ranger. Cool. Hey, it's steel skin drop, but I can't use it. I normally have the, the mana nodes with the strength and intelligence on it. And a ranger start to throw in a steel skin and a frost blink. But don't know where those attributes are. The mana leech is going to be cool though. That's going to shape how I can progress the character without a doubt. And that opens me to area effect of hex skills, dot multi, frenzy charge duration. Okay, so I need to scout the notables. The frenzy charge duration. That is cold and lightning damage. Enemy shocked or frozen take increased elemental damage. Stormweaver. Okay. Oh, and there's a 6% life regen right there too. Nifty. I definitely take Stormweaver. That gets me endurance charge duration, spell damage rolls. while wielding a staff. I put in added cold damage with the Galvanic Arrow. So it'll be doing cold and lightning damage. Next passive, let's peek at the notable on the right. That is beef. That's 30 strength. That's pretty huge actually. That lets me use a steel skin. Yay. Green, green, green. We have onslaught and added cold damage. So definitely take beef. Armor energy shield. Chance to freeze shock and ignite. That's actually useful since I have storm weaver. 15% freeze shock ignite chances. Not a small amount. So let's check the other one. This is blade barrier. Dual wield block. Okay. Ooh, strength int on gloves. Let's go. Quiver. full steel skin goes in. Also means I can use frost blink now. Ending socket. Okay, we got spiritual aid up here under the minion triangle. Spiritual aid is right here at the in the witch start spiritual aid is probably a really good passive for this that'll let any minion damage also affect you i don't think seven days is enough for this not not to like min max it build on the passive tree that's for sure i don't think i mean if we could see the whole tree i think that would be different because then we could plan rather than having to scout it so i know this one's no good take the armor es to see this notable divine judgment so i take divine judgment and peek these two i also want to see what a mastery looks like like who knows what the masteries are they could just be random as well i need to go get my respects from the fetid pool already we get a passive point here too so this is going to be divine judgment opens up damage over time aoe hex skills volume life curse effect chance for phasing okay Ooh, a sapphire ring look at 
that. Fire lightning res, lightning to attacks. Huge. And then this top one is going to be fleet foot. That's cool. I like that skill or that passive. Oh no, I don't have the decks to level my stuff. Okay, the bottom one is faith and steel. Some all res there. Attributes is not something I was thinking about coming into this at all. And they're just going to be scattered everywhere. Oh what? This lapis same mode's corrupted with 16 all res? <laughs> Okay. Hey, you know what? Fine by me. Um, I guess I could get another skill here. There's somebody I can't use because I don't have the decks. That's crazy. Shock Ignite Chance. That gets me access to Int. Trap Throwing Speed. Skill Effect Duration. Or Regret Orb. That is massive. Wow. Played too much Ruthless. Oh, white sockets on stuff too okay i can refund this point now and yeah it does take it away once you've seen it elite foot's really good i could take that and we'll keep moving up here poison duration crit multi with daggers elemental damage chaos physical and i want to see the keystone really badly the jewel sockets are still jewel sockets and this is a physical damage did i get dex somehow how did i get dex there's decks on this quiver. I don't want to level my skills up. Save this boarding axe for leveling a different character, probably. Keystone. Minion instability. Um, I think I take a Herald of Thunder. Yeah. Can I buy a dex amulet? Can't. Okay. I was like, there's still not enough decks, but I need level 18 for the bow. That was going to be such a massive upgrade in damage. Wow. We have extra damage. Oh, but this has decks on it. Okay. I guess I keep the dex bow. Yeah, the dex quiver. Well, that is some int. I already have enough strength to probably drop that. Okay, that's attack speed. 79.9 DPS to 210. A little bit of an upgrade there. All right, what do I take here? I guess we need, we need to scout what the masteries are and everything. Take the elemental damage into fire physical or or effect. Okay, turquoise amulet. Life gain on hit. Is that a stall off dex? It is. A lot of damage on a weapon. So here I take the or effect and we have lust for carnage a lot of attack speed more leech wow seven alts okay 15 all res is tempting but i want the scouting points Illyria. Boltist has fortify top left interesting all right lots of passive points here oh, i just leveled a bunch of mm, it's scary so four points i don't know that i need lust for carnage let's see what this is this is extra fire magmatic strikes Oh, I have to take that to see. What, okay, so this is Magmatic Strikes. Is this going to be a fire mastery then? No, it is a two-handed mastery. Wow. Chance to deal triple damage. Okay, so I got to take this one too. And this is actually a leech mastery. Interesting. Yes, leech. This is fire. The fizz is extra fire. Solid. Not the worst. Passive point. The one with the life into more leech. Vol storm call vol volcanic fissure what quality not chaos to attacks as a point as to arcane potency mastery here is physical up here this is mind over matter we have confirmed or thought increased mana cost of skills mm, okay hatred assassin's mark sniper's mark probably my best grab save pact minions have a chance to deal double damage Ooh. Guess I take forethought. That's a potion mat or poison mastery. Yeah, that's gonna gets me the last one of these. Cool. We got a block mastery. Okay, I got five refunds. Gray pact. I do not need. Do not want forethought. Do not want arcane potency. Take that life leech out. Everything else can kind of stay because I don't have the points. Four points gets me life ailments. Eternal youth. Oh, uh, I don't need eternal youth. I guess I could scout these. One more refund can pull me out of the mana. Go here or CI. Wow. Oh, I found some dex nodes. Look at that. So we got cast speed, area damage, all res. Yeah, I gotta see what these ones are. Energy shield in there. Ooh, I take a dex amulet here. I think all res, flat damage, breaks me on int. Right, I got two chaos orbs. Slap that. That'll work. Max power charge. Nice. Two hand mace. Old amulet. Okay. Time to see. All right. Ascendancy. No, they're blacked out too. Come on. Oh, that sucks. The idea was I just push to here and then figure out which ascendancy is best based on how much I was able to scout. But if they're going to block these off too, like how are you supposed to scout all this in seven days? I guess I'm taking Raider. Okay. We got Excuse elemental damage, light 
lightning ailments, accuracy projectile damage, and mana arcane surge. Okay, I got ricochet and gathering winds here. I mean, the raider has tailwind and chain. I mean, that's not the worst, but oh, you can't. How are you supposed to build a build when you can't see the ascendancy? Okay, so elementalist has Hynakora, a fire leech's life and it has shaper of flames so fire stuff for elementalist for sure and then raider is a dead eye okay well as cool as that is and all i think it's time to reroll and scout another one Alrighty then round number two let's go for a duelist nice i can use this all res amulet right at the start take a vol molten strike because why not all right here i get chance to freeze or int int i guess all right, and it wants me to have a shield. Okay, what does Vol Molten Strike do? Fires eight additional projectiles, chains eight times. Okay, nice and surrounded here. Oh, don't kill me. Vol Molten, oh, I it got animation canceled by a stun. Okay, yeah, it, it does a lot of balls. Try to get, boom. Yeah, they just kind of spread. Seems nifty. Okay, so we take the shield node. Melee Fizz or armor, we'll go Melee Fizz. Melee attack speed, last charges gained. Not that's not a terrible start. Making ancestral call. Last charges into diamond skin. Okay, here we go. Ball. Ah, get him. <laughs> Another point. Yes, minions crit chance. Mace scepter attacks. Brand skill duration. Ew. I do mace scepter. That takes us to elemental focus. Okay, I got a scepter. Plus one fire. Some flat fizz. I don't know. Axe is probably better. 75 or 70. No, the scepter is better. Two points. Go ahead and take elemental focus. Bottom is acuity. Attack speed and accuracy. Also solid. Added fire. Might be good for single target swap in. I'll take acuity. Level plus one max fire res. On the way to arcane guarding. Spell block while holding a shield. Interesting. Should be able to throw this axe on now. 52 to 2. Four, definitely grab a clarity shield strength fire res er, you have a cannibalistic right to reduce life cost skills so those would be good for a life tap i could do that bottom one is 18 percent of damage taken recouped as light free shock ignite chance with elemental damage to attacks also something so i'll take infused flush i've never used that before 18 percent of damage recouped as life seems good so i definitely by life tap. See if I can make my axe three sockets. About all writ. Don't look like it. Nice early fire dot scepter. Oh, two strength notes. Very nice. Two passives. Let's see what we got here. Pierce two additional targets. Physical damage with uh, one hand melee weapons there. And we have martial experience. Two handed melee weapons. 15% poison chance. I have ancestral cry now. Places my intimidating cry. I can replace ancestral crawl with added fire. With a stone of Lazwar. I have 20% spell block at level 18. And we have resolute technique right here. Wow. Only 93% chance to hit evasive monsters. I got acuity this early, so I have accuracy. Four more passives here. One, two, E. Shows me the impaler. And we have iron grip with some life and strength area damage decks and there's oh there's practical application that's really nice that's 20 strength 10 all res and 20 decks might have to go get my regrets another one there's leaf shade or respects take out the two strength nodes lose the block the max fire res here we have imbalanced Guard. Ooh, 8% mana reservation efficiency right here. On Supreme Ego. Used effect of shock on you. Chose King of the Hill. And now we find out. Can you use Molten Strike with a claw? Looks like it. Yup. Ooh, no more Leap Slam though. 10% reduced effect of sh chill and shock on you. Shows static blows. My vault was really easy. Thanks to my new fancy claw. Bubble accuracy all res into sentinel that's 10 all res that's a solid note Your sentinel is a life mastery okay this is a nice little wheel and yeah. pull out of these two points now it sucks they go back away after i've seen them i need to get practical application for the 
decks so that I can use Sniper's Mark. Two points. That lets me go with the one with the decks. Warcry buff effect spell damage into Toxic Strikes. Here is Discord Artisan. Increased damage for each Herald affecting you. Increased effective Herald buffs. That's a solid node. Only life and rarity. I got a granite flask, so I can probably just go do lab. No, the lab changed. Now we're on two-handed sword. Okay. Yikes. I have much better damage than I've done the other character, though. Here, I think I take this Herald damage. We see that this is a one mastery. Yuck. There is leech. Everything else is with once. I never went and got a third link for my molten shell, but my damage is much, much better than on my shrapnel shot. You are oh. Okay, so which ascendancy here? If, if these were revealed and you could see what the ascendancies got crangled into, I think this would be much better. Because I understand, like, okay, we got to we gotta figure out where stuff is on the tree. That's fine. You can refund stuff as needed, but these take five refund points each, and you're taking it not knowing, like, what your character could possibly be. I, I think this is the, like biggest mistake with this game mode because i was in, i've been enjoying going through the passive tree is like figured out okay okay this region has this thing and maybe we can start to work on something but this it's like i, I just don't i don't have a clue and just to scout this champion increased effective onslaught on you attack speed physical damage let's take that and this has essence glutton for each nearby corpse Regenerate five mana per second. That's crazy. So yes, and mana region while near corpses. Okay, and let's check this one. Arena Challenger. Okay, Challenger charges are really good, but I can't use them now because I had to put a point into here. And we just have no idea. Well, that's two down. I got four ascendancies figured out. I had help for finding out two more. I think the nodes have kept their oils wherever they showed up new i think they they have the same oils to them so if you wanted to find whispers of doom you could anoint it and figure out where it is another weapon upgrade oh man yeah i wanted to scout all the ascendancies today and i i can't do that and it's i don't like going into it so blind like i don't even know if there's two ascendancies i can put together to build around i know elementalist is kind of solid with Hynacora's Fury and Shaper of Flames. But even then, you don't know what else is there. Right, I need to get at least one more level to identify the last notable in the section of the tree I'm in. I don't have Leech. I think I, all of my region is just region and recoup. The recoup is working really nicely here. Cool. All right. And here we have Doomcast. Damage is good. Friday's dead. Damn you! Two passive points. See what static blows is a mark mastery. King of the Hill is a reservation mastery. Okay, well, let's do another one. Let's do a Templar. Um, smite. Start with strength and evasion ES. Wow. Strength into mana reservation efficiency or trap trigger AoE. Wow. Okay. Okay, so definitely the outside path here into 8% mana into impale effect. Okay, and here we have minions have movement speed and chance again onslaught. Ugh. Tell your res while holding a shield. Spell block. Then we have ancestral bond. Hmm. That's interesting. I just rush right into flame totems. Um, projectile damage. Damage your attack speed with axes. And we have one with nature. I think that's normally up here. Or no, one with nature is probably the one from the ranger's start right here. That's a solid grab though. Int and lightning damage. And this node uh, uh, lets me see three different notables. Physical damage with maces or scepters. Okay. It's looking more like a scepter or a mace smite possibility get a better stick like that all right what's it gonna be crystal skin light eater which is spell damage leech as es increase damage while full yes and we've got bloodletting dot multi for bleed crystal skin's very good well that's a big mace you just get that thing link a life here and that is a 30 dex node form burst that's something I could possibly use. Another Fizz Conversion spell, I believe. Yeah. Ooh, Absolution. Could use this. It's actually a spell. Hmm. Ooh, I could actually go Stormbrand, too. Okay, what next here? Let's peek at the Keystone. Some Allres. Physical damage. 
mana area of effect of aura skills and here's call to arms okay this is cool let's peek here it's evasion es into ethereal feast which is spell leech so we got two spell leech nodes really close and molten strikes probably better than smite so smite might be good when stacked with like an absolution and actually give the extra lightning aura to the minions flat armor percent armor that's solid and here we have inexorable chance to gain frenzy ch or endurance charge when you're hit it's pretty nice physical damage and here we have counterweight this is the global crit chance and multi while wielding a staff well i have to take one of these let's see melee crit chance attacks me with ones and what do we got here plus one maximum endurance charges hmm that's a spot ball molten shell next passive point is Going to call to arms. Two respect points. Can pull out of these. Then what? There's five all res. Let's peek this one. Dot with bleed. Dot for ailments from crits. Um, with arcing blows. You know, that's pretty solid for what I'm doing. Like, I'm going to have to grab that one. Okay, so we'll take that. And this is a mana mastery. Okay. There's useful mana masteries. Okay, we got into life. Into ambidex ambidexterity. You have to be dual wielding for that one. Evolve Lightning Strike. Could be usable with the smite. A okay, four more passives. I'm not going to take Ambidexterity. Bow damage and attack speed. Sword damage. Okay, strength. But this shows me born to fight. Attack speed, strength, physical damage. And split shot. Additional projectile when forking chance. Then we check out this, which is Mage Bane. That's big. These are only one point off as well. Max recovery from life leech shows ghost dance. Okay. A 6% life node. That's cool. I'm clearing the fetid pool for the third time today. What a strange event this one is. Two respects. I pull out of this evasion ES. And I pull out of physical damage. And then we see what these are. Trap damage into Fatal Blade. Crit chance multi with swords. And then Curse Duration into Blunt Trauma. Crit chance multi knockback with staff. Okay. Chaos Res into Righteous Army. I mean, that is 1% regen. It's a solid... Like three useful things that are like generally useful here. A life, chaos, res, and righteous army. Oh, I need to take this 30 dex. I'm just having too many issues with dexterity. And that lets me put precision on, which I really need. 89% yeah, chance to hit to 100. That'll make this feel a lot better. Righteous army unlocks a blind mastery. That's good too, though. Because then you can just be avoid blind without having to get any of the blind notes. I like that. Very defensive wheel right here. Unique Macer Scepter gloves, boots. I should go see what's in my menagerie. The intelligence to use any of these curses. Mm. All right. This little piece is not worth. Sword attacks, hits and ailments, minion damage and accuracy, 10 int into dot multi for poison from critical strikes. Critical strikes with daggers poison the enemy. I don't think that is it. Alrighty. I got this screenshot. I've been taking screenshots of the passive tree and kind of labeling things. Just posting pictures here in my Discord about like what's I've been finding. So if you want to join my Discord, there's a collection of stuff in there. If you're going through stuff, even Electro was helping out, found an elemental mastery, found spiritual aid and charisma. Spiritual aids right here, got overcharged arcane sanctuary but yeah those will be here in discord if you're interested in that but that also means i can spec out of this garbage um are either of these useful no i think let's go to the right so mana regen and mana mana regen here i was having some mana issues i almost took a mana mastery there but glad i did not because this is good oh uh, we've got divine shield this right here is like the worst thing possible. Lightning and shock resistant. I don't have enough to put on the conductivity. Not enough int. And yep, it's bad. Not even the exposure from my wave of conviction can get the lightning to go red. Before I go to lab, let's check this menagerie. Boots, 
probably the thing I want the most. Macer Scepter. What unique Macer Scepter is going to give me that is usable? Level 19. I think I'm going to just get that Spell Scepter. What do we got? Yep, Wanderlust. Cool. That means, should I do this again? I, I have speed right off the bat. What about this one? Gnomix. Big dex on those boots, too. Then what? Fine. Go for the Macer Scepter. I mean, that's a two-handed mace. I wasn't thinking about two-handed stuff. And Sedimas. Also not terrible. Another level. Projectile speed, projectile damage to get Blade Dancer. Okay. Level, I'll take Blade answer i guess and it's a projectile mastery here into accuracy le damage with maces or scepters okay okay there went azaro don't have damage all right what's it gonna be elephant has eight elephant has eight though it's quite possible that this ascendancy just has better chances for things so we go hyro all right what's it gonna be we got mana regen brand damage yeah all these are just miscellaneous stuff all right reigning veteran plus 10 max block attack damage and armor evasion per block so that's a gladiator node and this one's attack damage i will hit that and here we have ritual of awakening more damage per summon totem you and your totems regenerate one percent of life for each totem summon so this this node is normally back here so it's still a high road node but there we go there's another ascendancy all right i can't control my game because i'm uploading screenshots to discord this is what happens like i have to upload a 1.7 megabyte picture like this is what happens to my internet <laughs> it's 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 bad it's so terribly bad and there we go Picture's done, uploading. When, when it's stable, it's stable and it works, but not good for much else. So that's where I'm going to stop for today. I was expecting to get a little bit further. I thought we'd be able to see the whole ascendancies um, in the initial event launch thing. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't specify that ascendancy nodes would be hidden, but they are. So a little recap from what I've learned. Templar has Ritual of Awakening, still a totem more damage per summon totem and has reigning veteran which is extra chance to block attacks or extra max attack block and beyond that like i don't know what else is there i don't know that's enough to make a build on if you want to go through the notables i have them listed in here um but champion has challenger charges from gladiator and has essence glutton from necro rain raider has gathering winds from a dead eye and ricochet from a dead eye and then the best one i think we've seen so far is actually the elementalist that Electra got we got shaper of flames and kind of core death's fury so you can cover in ash and you um all of your damage can ignite who knows what else is there out there maybe the permanent fortifies out there maybe the phasings out there maybe the frenzy charge on kills out there maybe profane blooms out there like we don't know it's crazy I didn't find the keystone that I was looking for. I was looking for Runebinder because I wanted to play a brand build, honestly, and did not find it. Though I did check a lot of them. Like I, I kind of went prioritized a little bit, trying to see what these keystones were. The keystones up in here are really good. You would call the arms Mage Bane and Ghost Dance. Mage Bane doesn't do any good unless you can find a way to get Dexterity, which, um, yep. Good luck with that. And the Arcane Blows is really good if you're using the Lightning Damage, but this is a generally useful set of defensive nodes right here by Ghost Dance into 100% chance to avoid Blind if you needed that as well. This is the best, like, set of nodes together I've seen. Now, I kind of figured, like, we'd kind of branch out on this and we'd figure out where things were and whatnot, but even then, I felt like this would probably end up leaning more on cluster jewels because not everything's going to be as grouped together but different parts of the tree will have access to different things and even if you have seen the ability at one point you can't always see it so that's why i'm keeping screenshots in my discord but yeah this was exhausting just to like, get these three characters through lab like it's it's interesting but there's so much unknown about it the whole time 
you you really don't know what character you can create even with little bits and pieces of what is there you might be able to get yourself maybe to like act six or something before things start getting terribly bad just like scouting around the tree but maybe you can find some things that are useful like i did for this one but there's still so much on this passive tree so I shall continue it tomorrow. But yeah, that's all I've got for this one. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks to the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.